Hello everyone, thanks for watching my video today. As the title suggests, this is my review and breakdown of Uncanny X-Men number 7. This comic begins with the X-Recruits and the X-Men being in the Age of Apocalypse for about a year. This comic does not check back in with the rest of the X-Men and stays in the Age of Apocalypse. There is a bit of a schism, wink wink, within the X-Recruits. This issue continues a trend of characters being swayed or persuaded very easily and unexplainably, which is wearing a bit thin on me. This comic was not that interesting. I admit that I'm an old fart and just not that interested in the X recruits, and this comic really seems to just be a, a hardening of those characters or a test, paying their dues, if you will. Well, I hope you enjoy my breakdown. Thank you very much. X-Man, a.k.a. Nate Gray, is dying. In his last days, he is determined to use his omnipotent mutant powers to bring about world peace by any means necessary, leaving behind an ecological and sociological paradise. Finding X-Man's methods too destructive, the X-Men responded with force, but were quickly overpowered and subdued. Teenage X recruits Armor, Glob, Rockslide, and Pixie were eager to oppose X Man in their own way and banded with Legion, a near omnipotent mutant who tried to warn the X Men at an earlier juncture. Armor appealed to the X Man, but Legion intervened and banished them all to the Age of Apocalypse. This issue starts with Armor and Glob fighting a horde of robots called the Infinite. After the battle is won, the X-Man reveals that he was in hiding nearby. X-Man seems like he is defeated and has no power, but he is trying to lead Armor and Glob to something that might get them back home. Glob asks Armor if they should find Rockslide and Pixie to let them know about this possible avenue to get home. Armor dismisses the notion and reminds him that Pixie and Rockslide made their choice. As they head to their next destination, it seems that a local is watching them and taking note. The local then informs Pixie and Rockslide of Armor, Glob, and the X-Man's location. The X-Man, Armor, and Glob make it to their destination, which turns out to be an old lab of Mr. Sinister's. In fact, it was the lab that the X-Man was born in. Pixie is able to locate them and orders Rockslide to guard the entrance to the lab and not let them out, as she teleports away. Inside the lab it is revealed that there is a bunch of dead X-Men stored here for Sinister's nefarious purposes. Glob indeed finds a container containing a crystal that the X-Man identifies as the Macron crystal that they are looking for. However, it crumbles as the X-Man removes it from its container. Rockslide enters the lab and is immediately followed by Pixie who teleports in with a bunch of thugs. It seems they are looking to kill the X-Man while he has no powers. However, Glob and Armor mean to protect him as he is the only possible means to return them to their reality. Glob battles Rockslide and the thugs while Pixie and Armor square off in a one vs one fight. Pixie is doing her best to persuade Armor that the X-Man needs to be killed while he can be killed. Armor argues that he could be their only way out as well as killing him is just going too far. After a little more debate, Armor seems to catch Pixie off guard and smashes her against the wall and states that killing is something you can't come back from. It is with you forever. Meanwhile, Glob has taken care of all the thugs and is now in a 1v1 match with Rockslide. Glob gets the upper hand by shoving his lava jelly in Rockslide's mouth. Rockslide is down and fading until Armor asks Glob to stop and he complies. Armor then walks over to the tube containing the X-Man and releases him. But only to reveal that she has also decided that the X-Man must die and she will be the one to do it. Well, that was certainly a strange turn of events. How is it that the X-Recruits have been in the Age of Apocalypse for a year? Is anyone coming to get them? Is Armor really going to kill the X-Man after she had already decided that he was the only way out? Join me in finding out what happens next 
on my next review of Uncanny X-Men number 8. I hope to see you then, and please feel free to tweet at me on Twitter at dsquare72, and you can also check out my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Donald Daniels. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.